So this is a stock that is up almost 10.91%, almost 11% from my purchase price. And I have not yet sold a single share. So let me show you that stock. It's a very interesting case study. So have a look at this. This is Indus Towers, okay? Have a look at this base. Uh, before that, have a look at the moving averages, the 50 day, the 150 day, and the 200 day. So blue, green, red, as long as this combination holds true, I'm interested in the stock. It's a stage two stock. Then I look at the base. Where does the base start? The base starts from here, the high of this candle. So this is 0.1. The low is 0.2. Then the other extreme here is high is 0.3. Then this is 0.4, the low of this candle. And the high of this candle is 0.5. So there are five points in the base. There are 10 candles in the base. There is tight price action. Blue, green, red, move, moving average combination. These are the exact things I'm looking for before I want to buy the stock. So I put an order at the blue line, which is point number, sorry, yellow line, which is point number three. And my order gets triggered. I put 2.5% of my portfolio here, small position size. My order gets triggered. The stock closes above the yellow line. So I'm already making money there. And my stop loss is this red line, which is 8% below the yellow line. Next day, this is good news because not only does the stock close up, but it also successfully is testing the yellow line. So basically the bears are trying to push the price below the yellow line, but the bulls finally succeeded in closing the price above the yellow line. The stock closed up 2.54% above the yellow line. So there is no reason to sell here. Even here, I don't see any reason to sell because if you look at volume, volume was 41 million shares traded and the average volume is 33 million. So it is obviously it is above average volume. So there is no reason to sell the stock during these two days. Next day is even more good news. Although this is weak, weak closing, but you see a rising window here, a rising window as per Japanese candlesticks terminology, a rising window becomes support. So now I have this support, which is protecting the me from the price coming down here. So even though this is weak closing on high volume, I'm not bothered because there is a rising window here. I can stay in the stock as long as it stays above the rising window. Moreover, if you see the eight day and the 21 day, the orange line is the eight day exponential. The purple line is the 21 day exponential moving average. The stock continues to remain above all the moving averages. Okay. So there is no reason to worry here. Let me remove this. Then next day, the stock climbs up 3.82%. Fantastic. No reason to sell. Next day, the stock goes down one and a half percent, but look at the volume. The volume is below average. The volume is 27 million shares and the average is 35 million. So on low volume, the stock is coming down 1.5%, which means not nobody is selling basically. The institutions are not selling. Then a couple of days it goes up, then it pulls back. This is a natural reaction. Look at the long lower shadows. This is bullish price action. And over this period, you see low volume, which means nobody is selling. The big guys who bought the stock are not selling. So why should I sell? Okay, so the important lesson to learn from this chart is when should you not sell a particular stock? Okay, and here looking at each candle day by day, it gives me enough reasons not to sell. Number one, the volume is low, so nobody is selling. Number two, my position size is small. Number three, there is a rising window here, which is still not broken. So there are multiple reasons why I should stay in the stock. Plus now see, it's almost 11% above the, see from the yellow line, this is my buy price. From here till the close, it's almost 11% above my buy price. So I have a 11% cushion. So for the stock to reach my break even point, it has to come down 11%, plus it has to break the window. Moreover, for the stock to reach down at my stop loss, it has to travel a distance of 19%. So I almost have a 19% cushion in the stock. And 
practically speaking i am not allow i am not going to allow the stock to go down 19% on me because the moment it breaks the window i am going to be out of the stock so roughly 11% around 10.91% to be precise here and i have not sold a single share i could have sold partially here but the stock doesn't give me any reason to sell so i stay with the stock so again let let me repeat why i bought the stock so first is blue green red it's a stage 2 stock there are four five points in the base okay look at the waves and look at the tight price action here okay and there are more than 10 candles in the base so almost two weeks of consolidation that is enough for me to put the trade on but when i put the trade on i take a small position size with a wider stop loss see 2.5% position size with 8% stop loss is 0.2% risk on a portfolio level so i am only risking 0.2% of my portfolio on this trade so that's that's a major reason i can i can handle these fluctuations even if it comes down i'm not losing much money so that's the trade i hope you learnt from this trade and uh, i will create more videos like this this is a stock that i have not yet sold just for a disclaimer because you know it's it's unrealized profit it's not realized profit okay let's see how things go i might make another video as it continues to go up see it continues to remain above the moving averages okay which is a very good sign so there is no the stock is not giving me a reason to sell out sell out okay so that is why i stay in the stock anyways thank you so much